Recently, as part of Target's Fall Geek Out 2023, we got an announcement with the newest drop of exclusive Python Patrol figures. Among them was the Python Patrol, Cobra Flight Pod, and Televiper. While no one was truly surprised that we saw this recolor, the shocking thing was the price. This retails at $44.99. While this in itself isn't overly high, Scrap Iron and the Drone also clocked in at this price. When you compare it to the standard release, you're left shaking your head. Why was the standard release $10 more, and what is going on with Hasbro's pricing strategy? I bought two of the Pulse exclusive Trouble Bubbles and I went on record saying in a video I didn't think the $54.99 was that outrageous of a price for the offering. With a fair bit with the vehicle and the extra heads for the figure, something with the classified line does not do too often. But now we get the pictures of the Python Patrol version, and to my eyes, there's nothing different on this offering other than the paint and the price. Arguably, the paint deco is more complicated on this one, using more colors in the standard release. So where is this $10 price difference coming from? While many may point out that Python Patrol and Tiger Force have historically peg-warmed at Target, usually hitting clearance after a few months, there is an audience for these, seeing as all of these new offerings are currently sold out on Pulse. The answer could very well just be that Target didn't want to put it out at $54.99 to reduce the chance of them getting struck with large quantities of this, but I think I have a feeling that that's not the case. And while I did pre-order one of the Python Patrol versions, I can't help but be left with a bad taste in my mouth over paying the additional 10 for each of the standard release. Both are technically exclusives, one being with Pulse and the other being shared between Target and Pulse. We are in an era where the ever-rising prices, we as consumers are starting to be ever so more frugal. Gone are the days of the $15 figure. So with each new pre-order announcement, the price is becoming more and more significant. So why is an exact repaint coming out for pre-order for $10 less when not everyone even has their original? Truly, I can't explain it. We all know that Hasbro makes a good amount of profit on each release, but this just goes to show that if they can release the exact same item for $10 less, then they are truly gouging us for every last cent they can. We saw it with the Hiss and Dragonfly. The Dragonfly was $25 less than the Hiss, but it's certainly bigger and was a better offering in my mind. The only reason we saw this price increase was due to the failure of the engines of the Engine of Vengeance. This is not even to mention the pricing of two-packs. A Marvel Legends standard two-pack comes in at $49.99, but a classified two-pack costs $54.99. And for some absurd reason, the Indiana Jones Adventure Series two-pack of Marcus and Belloc cost $55.99. The Marvel and Indy are both licensed properties, and they both come with a close to the same amount of accessories, so it can't be a licensing issue. And with all three of these brands, a standard release figure comes out to be $24.99. There's truly no consistency in the pricing structure, and I can't seem to wrap my head around it. At the end of the day, they're all six-inch scale action figures made by the largest toy manufacturer in the world. You would think that the price would have been somewhat more consistent. Now, you can call me a hypocrite all you want because at the end of the day, I'm still buying these products. I love these properties, and I will continue to support them. But I feel as though as we as consumers need to look at what we're buying and really ask if we are getting our money's worth. And if the rumors of another price increase are to be believed, a lot of collectors may be evaluating what they need and what they can skip out on. Our dollar has more worth than we think, and if we start to realize that we are not getting a good value and sales drop, the companies will notice and things will change. I'm fortunate to be in a position to afford these things, but I know many who are getting priced out of these lines and properties they love. Let me know what you think down below. Are you picking up any of the Python Patrol stuff? And why do you think there's such a price discrepancy between all of these lines? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.